Hi, welcome to the second video of preferences. In this one, we're going to talk about some examples of preferences. And I hope you're sitting with your pen and paper like this nice boy who's sitting out here. And if you're not, then pause the video, go grab a pencil and a paper or a pen and a paper. I know most of you will not use a pencil, but grab a pen and a paper and start making your own notes side by side right now. Okay, so we're going to be doing some basic examples here just to again give you the idea of what preferences are like. So the first example that we're taking is a perfect substitute. The first example that we're taking is a perfect substitute. Now perfect substitute hum logo ne pehle bhi kiya hua. We did it in the first year, we did it in the 12th standard, so we've done it before. But why I wanted to take that moment here and explain this is because most of us, most of us do not understand the perfect substitute in a greater detail. So let's suppose we have two goods on the two axis, good x on the x axis, good y on the y axis, then perfect substitute is when one good is replaceable with other. I say that, oh, you know, I like my tea sweet. Mujhe na chai, you know, michi pasand hai. So I bolti ki ya to aap mujhe ek spoon sugar de do. Agar aapke pa sugar nahi hai, to mujhe two spoons honey de do. Mai sugar or honey or kisi cheese mein use nahi karungi. So for me, this one spoon of sugar is a perfect substitute of two spoons of honey. So the point I'm trying to make here is you notice this ratio is not one is to one. Now variant is very confusing this way. When you have beach one is to one ka ratio, le aati hai ki haan, you know, one unit of x is equal to one unit of y. Not true. Perfect substitute ka ye matlab nahi hota that exactly one unit of x is, is replaceable with one unit of y or you know ratio jo hai wo one is to one honi chahiye. That's not true. What's true is that when I have removed one spoon of sugar and removed two spoons of sugar, then after that, my utility has been reduced by one spoon of sugar. So when I'm having a cup of tea with one spoon of sugar, and I have another cup of tea, not like one after the other, and I have, I have two cups of tea, one will be one spoon of sugar, and the other will be two spoons of honey. So what's true is that when I have removed one spoon of sugar, and I have another cup of tea, not like one after the other, and I have, I have two cups of tea, one will be one spoon of sugar, and the other will be two spoons of honey. So what's true is that when I have removed one spoon of sugar, and I have another cup of tea, not like one after the other, and I have, I have two cups of tea, one will be one spoon of sugar, and the other will be two spoons of honey. So what's true is that when I have removed one spoon of sugar, one spoon of sugar is absolutely and totally substitutable with just substitutable with two spoons of honey. So perfect substitutes are totally replaceable with each other. Replaceable with each other मतलब दोनों की जो utility होती है, वो exactly same होती है. The utility they both have is exactly same. The utility that they both have is exactly the same. So in my example, one spoon of sugar is exactly equal to two spoons of honey. Now most of you should have a question कि यहाँ पे one आएगा, यहाँ पे two आएगा, कि यहाँ पे one आएगा, यहाँ पे two आएगा. Now that's something I'm gonna talk about in a utility video later in the utility chapter. But right now the one thing that you need to know is that one spoon of sugar is equal to two spoons of honey. Which means that जब मैं perfect substitute का IC बनाऊँ, तो IC ऐसे भी हो सकता है. और वो ऐसे ऐसे भी हो सकता है, so it doesn't have to have a 45 degree angle, it can have any particular angle. Similarly, perfect complement. Again, x on the x-axis, y on the y-axis, and again, the most common misconception is कि दोनों one is to one के रेशों में होने चाहिए. So one right shoe will be complemented with one left shoe and and nothing else. So it has to be one good of x is equal to one good of y. Not true. Perfect complement means the two goods which complement each other and they perfectly complement each other. So you don't use either one without the other. So for example, I'll take the I'll take the example of cup of tea only. Or let me change the example if you think that you can get you you're going to get confused. Let's say that we take an example of bread and butter. I say with one unit of bread, I take two units of butter. I know very unhealthy, but still. Let's take this as an example. Hmm? So one unit of bread plus two units of butter gives me one whole unit, and this is whole unit से मुझे satisfaction मिलती है. So ये दोनों perfect complement हैं. कैसे? अगर मैं bread बिना butter के consume करूँ, तो मुझे satisfaction नहीं मिलेगी. अगर मैं butter बिना bread के consume करूँ, तो मुझे satisfaction नहीं मिलेगी. अगर मैं bread दो units of butter से कम units of butter में consume करती हूँ, तब भी मुझे satisfaction नहीं मिलेगी. So I am not going to consume bread without butter, butter without bread, and for me to get a full unit of satisfaction, I have to have this combination of both. Again, यहाँ पे one आएगा, यहाँ पे two आएगा, कि यहाँ पे one आएगा, यहाँ पे two आएगा. I'm not getting into that. That will do in the utility chapter. But the point I'm trying to make here is why am I doing this video? I'm doing this video to dispel your notions. 
what is the notion variant many a time says perfect complement is a one is to one ratio not true perfect complement means i have to have a fixed ratio matlab अगर मैंने ब्रेड को डबल किया तो मेरे लिए कंप्लीट सेटिस्फेक्शन के लिए मुझे बटर को भी डबल करना पड़ेगा अगर मैंने ब्रेड को ट्रिपल किया तो मुझे बटर को भी ट्रिपल करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि अगर मैं नहीं करूंगी तो मुझे सेटिस्फेक्शन नहीं मिलेगी तो मेरे लिए एक्स्ट्रा ब्रेड वेस्ट है लेकिन माई पॉइंट इज द रेशो हैज टू बी सेम द रेशो हैज टू बी कॉन्स्टेंट थ्रू आउट द आई सी बट द रेशो डेव टू बी वन इज टू वन द रेशो कैन बी एनीथिंग एल्स एज वेल On the similar lines, let's talk about bads. Now, when we talk about bads, here in we have again a x on the x-axis and a good y on the y-axis. Now, one good is a good and the other is a bad. अगर एक good है और दूसरा bad है तो trade-off नहीं होता है. If one is a good and the other is a bad, then trade-off doesn't happen. Why doesn't trade-off happen? क्योंकि जब आपने x को increase किया, अगर x आपका good है, तो आपकी utility बढ़ी. सेम आईसी पे रहने के लिए यूटिलिटी कांस्टेंट होनी चाहिए इसका मतलब आपको यूटिलिटी कम करनी पड़ेगी यूटिलिटी कम करोगे कैसे जब आप बैट को बढ़ाओगे क्योंकि आपने बैट को कम कर दिया तो यूटिलिटी बढ़ जाएगी ना सो टू मेक दिस हैपन यू हैव टू इंक्रीज द बैट सो व्हेन यू आर इंक्रीजिंग एक्स वाई ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेज विच इज वाई दे आर पॉजिटिव स्लोपिंग आईसी यू कुड रिवर्स इट यू कुड से एक्स इज बैड एंड वाई इज गुड यू सेट द सेम रिजल्ट The idea is जब एक गुड है और एक बैड है तो ट्रेड ऑफ नहीं होता है ट्रेड ऑफ नहीं होता है तो आईसी जो होते हैं वो क्या होते हैं पॉजिटिवली स्लोपिंग नॉट वेन देर पॉजिटिवली स्लोपिंग आईसीज आई डोंट नो वेदर द यूटिट इज इंक्रीजिंग दिस वे और और द यूटिट इज इंक्रीजिंग दिस वे नो टू नो दैट वेदर दिस इज ट्रू और दिस इज ट्रू वी हैव टू नो विच इज अ गुड सो इफ एक्स इज अ गुड देन वी हैव दीज एरोज एंड इफ वाई इज अ गुड Then we have these arrows. So अगर हमारा x good है तो हम x की तरफ move करते हैं तो हमारा आई सी बढ़ता जाता है मतलब यूट्री ऑन सब्सिक्वेंट आई सी बढ़ता जाता है और अगर y good है तो हम लेफ्ट वर्ड मूव करते हैं तो हमारा सब्सिक्वेंट सब्सिक्वेंट आई सी से यूट्री बढ़ता जाता है तो द लास्ट एग्जाम्पल इन दिस वीडियो ऑफ आर्ज इज न्यूट्रल वेरी सिंपल अगेन दिस इज एक्स दिस इज वाई दिस इज एक्स दिस इज वाई इन दिस वन एक्स इज अ गुड वाई इज अ न्यूट्रल and this one x is a y is a good and x is a neutral and i'm sure most of you can imagine ki ic is aise kyu hai with one of x mein kitna bhi y consume kar lu main utility to same rahegi na agar mujhe utility badhani hai to mujhe x badhana padega jaise hi maine x badha hai waisi utility badh gayi again y doesn't matter kyunki y se hum kya hai neutral so y doesn't give me satisfaction nor it gives me dissatisfaction so y ka hona na hona mere liye ek barabar hai तो जैसे जैसे मैं x बढ़ाती जाऊंगी वैसे वैसे मेरी यूटिटी बढ़ती जाएगी राइट सो सिमिलरली जब हम ये वाला डायग्राम करते हैं तो इसमें भी यही है सो द मोमेंट आई वॉन्ट इंक्रीज माई यूटिटी आई नीड टू इंक्रीज द अमाउंट ऑफ वाई सॉरी नॉट दिस वे दरोज विल बी दिस वे वेन आई नीड टू इंक्रीज माई यूटिटी आई नीड टू इंक्रीज द अमाउंट ऑफ वाई ओनली वेन आई इंक्रीज द अमाउंट ऑफ वाई डज माई यूटिटी गो अप सो दैट्स ऑल वी डू इन दिस दिस वीडियो आई सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू